Hey there, welcome to another episode of Livewire Magic. In this series, we discuss various use cases of Laravel Livewire and the amazing cool things that we can build using this. In this particular episode, we will go through a product filter that is built using Laravel Livewire and Tailwind CSS and Alpine JS. So on the screen you can see a dummy shop of headphones and headsets and uh, on the top panel you can see that we have different options to filter the products by brand, by color, by color or by type and uh, on the left side you have an option to sort the products. So let's say if I'm trying to filter the product by brand Apple I can do so and uh, on this panel you will see whatever filter we have currently applied and it also have an option to clear the filter from here so if i'm trying to clear this filter i can simply choose to clear that out if i'm trying to buy only yellow headphones i can do so by picking up a color or if i'm interested in multiple colors i can do so by the selecting multiple of them and type if i'm just looking for earbuds we can do so and this also have an option of scrolling pagination so currently by default we show only nine products and as we scroll down it keeps adding more products to the list using the scroll navigation and uh, and if we look into the mobile view this is showing the products in a grid of one and a pretty similar features is just that the filter options now are shifted to a sidebar if you click on the filter it will open up a sidebar and through which you can filter the options of products so if i'm trying to filter using this i can just do so right here all right and uh, so this is how the filter option works one more feature that is embedded into this component is having the support of query filters so if so if i'm choosing the products by brand and let's say earbuds so you will see that in the url we have the query filter applied and this means that i can give out this url share this url or refresh this so it will have the filters applied all right now let's look into the code so this is my model which is a dummy product model and uh, to filter the rows in the database what i'm doing is i have made use of a package which is eloquent filter and for that to work we have to create another class which is the model name and the filter and whatever filter we have uh, whatever filter options we have on the front end i have deployed them here i have created separate functions for them here and now let's look into the live wire class which is tailwind product filter so this is the live wire class and in here i have defined different filter options that we are showing on the front end so one of them is brand and the display of that option filter option is brands and these are the options that i'm showing to the user similarly we have colors filter and types filter as well and we have an empty array which is named filters and this denotes the filters that are currently being chosen by the user uh, for the functions it's very simple we have a function to remove the filter we have a function to set the order of sort and to clear the sort uh, very simple and if we look further into the front end this is the front end file uh, in here what we are doing is simply looping through the products that we have and displaying them along with their image image is stored in amazon s3 uh, and i'm using sparty media library for managing the media of the images on the top you will see a file that is included which handles the 
different drop downs filters so let's look into that file so this is the file um, so basically what we have here is this are the mobile filters so we are uh, looping through different filter options that we have on the component class and displaying the options to the user this is for the mobile and uh, this one is for the desktop so i have created a custom blade component to which i am passing the options and the name of the filter options and the component is taking care of displaying that in the form of a drop down in the front end and i am also denoting uh, which particular model to bind it to so whenever user picks an options from the drop down it will get binded to the property in the live wire component uh, here is the snippet of code that shows the active filters on the front end through which user can see which filters are currently applied and here is the option of sorting the products and uh, so yeah this is how the component is built uh, very much uh, reusable so you can pick this component and uh, just change the filters on the component class and uh, change the products on the database and that should be good to go for you as well i hope you liked it thank you